Yo guys, what's going on? It's your boy Kuro. Welcome back to the channel. Today's video, I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a helping hand almost, in my opinion, by how to uh, best utilize the uh, the new DOT system for uh, the Phasmophobia update. What is it? 0.3.0. As you guys can see, you probably missed it if you weren't watching the uh, the PC screen on the monitor, sorry. The, uh, the ghost did run across. Obviously, we saw it using the DOT. So, I want to quickly... So, as you guys can see... I found where the ghost is at, yeah? So once you're at that once you're at that point, you know the ghost room, or if it's a wanderer, whatever hallway ghost as this one is, place down you want to place down the uh, the dot systems. Now you can use one, but if it's a big room, you're gonna need to utilize two. As this is, it's a hallway ghost, so she could be anywhere realistically. So I've placed two of them more or less like maybe a little bit away from each other. I've got the whole room more or less covered in this hallway on Willow Street. And um, I've got four, I think four cameras, four cameras recording different sides of um, of the room. As you guys can see, one of them's facing the uh, basement stairs. I've got one facing the bathroom. I've got one facing kitchen and one facing the back bedrooms. Now, which is the good one? This one. Now, this one I found, she hasn't had too much activity because I haven't actually been in the house for a little bit. But so I'm going to go stir her up and then I'll probably come back and we'll see if we can get some activity. But you can actually see them through like just normal vision like this. You don't have to actually use the, um, the cameras. I just find it way easier. It's more relaxing. See, as you guys can see, as soon as I turn away, there you go. She's running across the screen. <laughs> but yeah, it's pretty difficult. The only thing I would say is that I haven't actually come across the new ghost yet. The, um, this Goyo, which if you guys actually, if you guys actually have a look at it. So Goyo, so using a video camera is the only way to view a Goyo when it passes through a dots projector. So it's a unique strength. So Goyo will usually only show itself on camera if there are no people nearby and it's weaknesses. They rarely, they're rarely seen from their place of death. So basically they're invisible unless you use the dots projector with a camera like I'm doing here. She's by herself in the room and she's obviously running past like a spaz like <laughs> every few minutes so that's the only downside if it's one of the if it's that new ghost the uh, goyo sorry i keep forgetting the names <laughs> but yes yeah, so that's the only way you're going to be able to find them using the dots projector set up like this with a few angles and yeah she has to be alone so no one in the house just set up like this like i said just find your ghost room set it up you sorted so i'm gonna go see if I can stir her up a little bit, we've got high sanity, so we should be fine. But um, but yes, yeah, so we're gonna go, we're gonna go stir her up, see if we can get some some activity, and then we'll um, we'll head back on in the room. So as you guys can see, there's one, two, one behind the door, and then four right there. So we've got four cameras, all set up around these two projectors. As you guys can see, it more or less covers the whole room. Let's see, yeah. Let's see if she wrote in the book. No, she didn't. That's fine. All right, so she knows we're in the house. That's fine. We're going to head back out. We've probably stirred her up enough. And we're going to go see. We're going to go take a look at the uh, camera. Now, like I said, you can, if it's not a Goyo, you can actually see them pass through the uh, projectors with your naked eye. However, it's ridiculously fast. Like if you've seen some of the other um, videos and tutorials on how to best use the projectors, they pretty much slow the video down by like a hundred times just so you can see frame by frame it going past. It's that fast. So don't get me wrong. If you watch the screen, there you go. You just saw a like bolt pass really quick. It is fast, but I find it way easier to see it through the camera on the back of the truck than with my naked eye, like in the actual room itself. So this is how I prefer to do it. I find this is the best way personally for me. If you guys prefer it and find it easier to, to find an angle where you can best see a run through, but this way, with this way, we're out of harm's way. She can't hurt us. Our sanity's fine. And I've got four angles. So if one's not working, I just switch it over to the next one. She might run past. I watch it for a little bit. She might run past. You know what I mean? Like I've got four angles. Chances are we're going to see something. You know what I mean? So yeah, guys. So this is personally like the best way I I think to use the uh, the projectors. So just a little bit of a recap. So you want to run, you want to find the room first. 
set up the projectors equally, like if it's a large room, equally apart from each other so you can cover as much um, of the room as possible in the dots. Set up three, four, five cameras. I'm pretty sure you can only set up four. I'm not sure how many tripods you can actually get, but you can set up a maximum of six cameras if you really want. You don't have to use tripods. It's just easier. It's at like mid-level. As you guys can see, she just ran across the screen again. But yeah, and then... Once you've got some evidence and she's kind of riled up, as you guys can see, she's now to 10, so she's the most active. You will get her to run past. But um, yeah, so this is just my take on the video. It's really hard at the moment. It's it's new. It's going to take a lot of updates, a little a lot of tweaks from um, the, the development team to actually get this working. It's I think what the update came out yesterday and it's already had a hot fix to make it work better in large rooms because it was, wasn't working in large rooms. So um. Be patient with it. It's going to take a like yeah a few few more updates to actually uh, get it working perfectly. But um yeah guys, I hope this helped. This is again, it's just my opinion on how I personally like to use it. You guys might think differently. If you do, let me know down in the comments below because I'm curious to see how you guys find it and how you guys use it. But um yeah guys, so thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe if you've enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy, guys. Peace.